Well, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, but we're getting ready to do Proverbs chapter 17, and I hope that you've been enjoying going through the book of Proverbs. Uh, I'm down here with the furnace and the hot water heater and all that, and we'll get to that shortly. But just a couple verses out of chapter 17. The first one says, better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. How true it is that what we really want is peace. And so we need to work for that and make sure of that. And uh, uh, it's worth giving up some things so that we can have some peace and quiet. Uh, but the second verse here is quite interesting too. It says, a wise servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share the inheritance as one of the brothers. We see this throughout scripture, how important it is, like Joseph, and he went to Egypt and he rose all the way through the ranks to be next to Pharaoh in, in power and authority. And I want us to see that it's important that we practice what's in this chapter, what's in this book of Proverbs, because when we become wise through God's wisdom, how important it is that we help out others. And so we need to learn that today, and we need to go through chapter 17 and consider how we today can apply God's wisdom to our life so that we can honor him and encourage those around us. Because as we know right now, verse 3 says that the crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, but, and, but the Lord tests the heart. You see, we're going through a time of testing. And what is your heart? Where do you stand before God? Are you following him? Are you looking after him? You see, what we store up is important. And we need to store up God's wisdom within our heart and a hope for him. Just like uh, the furnace keeps us warm and keeps the engine churning, what we run on is important, and hopefully it's God's wisdom. What we store, like a hot water heater stores, we're ready to use at the appropriate time, whether it's a shower or whatever, but we need to make sure that we're storing God's word in our hearts so that we're prepared in the right season. And uh, you go throughout this chapter, there's all kinds of good uh, and helpful bits of information. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. How true. You go to, uh, on to other verses, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. How true. And then even the last one says, even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and, and discerning if he holds his tongue. So I guess with that, that's all I have to say, but I hope you enjoy chapter 17. God bless.